This week, the people of the U.S. Virgin Islands celebrate Freedom Week, Emancipation Day, and the 4th of July. These events honor the rich heritage, history, and enduring spirit of freedom that defines the Virgin Islands. Carol Burke is the chair of the Virgin Islands 175th Emancipation Commemoration Committee. What we have done in bringing out the Emancipation Committee is the awareness that it's so valuable, our culture. Um, the preservation of it is so important. And so while we know that we're here, there, and everywhere, we want to be able to capture every single piece of Virgin Islands history and tradition. This year, the committee is emphasizing deepening connections to the motherland, acknowledging shared roots, and honoring the invaluable contributions of the ancestors. That's where everything be began, with the motherland, and, and we all know it. it if there's anything we agree upon as a people, as a Caribbean people, as Virgin Islanders, and as American citizens, is that the mother line is where all of this started. It is what connects all of us. And it would behoove us to, to do this right. And we could not begin or end our feature of our emancipation and the blessings that have been bestowed upon us by not including the motherland. And so we are, in fact, planning a reverence, uh, a, a tribute to the motherland by inviting Ghanaians and other African entities to come and celebrate with us, hopefully before the summer is over. As the territory celebrates this week, Virgin Islanders are reflecting on their past and looking forward to a future filled with pride in their heritage and unity as a community.